Hey guys, it's Tickle, and in this video we're going over Feral Druid. I went over uh, Boomkin, I went over some Shaman things, check the comments or the description for those. But we're going to be going over the skills and the talents for Feral Druid in the alpha of Shadowlands. So, let's just jump right into it guys. There's a few things I want to point out right away. I've been pointing out every single time. Blizzard has made some very big changes. Number one, I'm level 50. They've done a level squish down to max of level 60. I, <clears throat> I also have a stat squish. I also, uh, you know, have level eye level 75. Are you kidding me right now? Uh, and less than 10k health at level 50. So that is something you got to keep in mind when you're looking at the damage numbers of abilities and also a damage number when I'm going to show you some damage on uh, Feral and some other classes on stream or uh, in other videos. Now, what Blizzard's done is a core design change is they've made classes actually have class identity now. They've made it so that every single class will have a class ability tab. Now these abilities mainly are things that are baseline to the entire class. No matter what spec of that I am of Druid, I will be in, I will have these abilities. Unless it says talent under it, like uh, where's Mighty Bash? Oh, I don't have it. Oh no, here it is, Mighty Bash. Mighty Bash, um, it did get nerfed by one second duration, by the way. But uh, this is not class across the class. This is just from a talent. I think they may change that. But otherwise, everything else in here is across the entire class. Barkskin, every single Druid has bark skin. Every single druid has hibernate. Every single druid has all the shape shifts, the iron furs um, when you're in bear form. And also has cyclone. Cyclone is now baseline, which is awesome for you PvPers out there. And also PvEers. Like, this is actually a nice CC. Well, when back in the day when people actually CC'd things. But, um, but yeah, I'm actually very glad that this is back. And it is for all the specs without uh, picking it as a PvP talent. So that's pretty awesome. Mangle, there's roots, ferocious biting, cat form as every single spec by default. Moonfire, of course. You have, you have regrowth, you have stampeding roar, of course. Um, that's about it. There's nothing else uh, that's too crazy. A lot of the heals, you know, soothing, shred, revive, rebirth, all that stuff. So, um, but it is cool. I think iron first cool. I think cyclone is cool. Um, those are nice things to have. Now, specifically for feral, looking at the differences, largely there wasn't really too big of a change for feral druids a few other things we found out while i stream today i'll put the vod link down below where i did test out druid we did find out that feral actually lost survival instincts one of its main defensive cooldowns i'll put a screenshot of it right here but it is pretty big nerf to the defensive of feral it did get bark skin but still that's pretty dang rough it's all of their abilities are pretty much the same as BFA. I did a one-to-one -one comparison. So Berserk is still there. The only difference is it says go Berserk for 20 seconds. It doesn't say that in BFA. Skull Bash, same. Starfire, <clears throat> same. And the reason I have these, the reason I have Sunfire, Star Surge, Starfire, Moon Kid form is because I select uh, the talent, balance, affinity. So we'll get into that. Um, Rake. You know, all these abilities are exactly the same as BFA right now. It makes me think maybe they will make future changes for Feral, but it, right now it does not seem like there's that many. Um, Tiger Dash. The only other thing, I don't know, Typhoon is because I'm in Boomkin spec. They actually made uh, Typhoon a uh, ability you get from being in Boomkin spec, as, as well as Astral Influence. So otherwise, Feral Druids didn't get that many, didn't get really any class ability changes other than cyclone baseline even the mastery is uh, exactly the same so that is a very quick review but that's just the way it is soothe and remove okay so soothe and remove corruption are usable in cat form that's cool all right so that's about it for the abilities guys i know that's a little underwhelming but maybe that's an okay thing maybe they have balanced some of the damage numbers around to make it a little bit more fluid now let's go into the uh the talents the talents themselves um they're largely the same as well, except with one big exception, which is Heart of the Wild. Heart of the Wild is, is a ability, I believe it used to be here uh, in the game, but now it's uh, here for sure. With a five-minute cooldown, it is on the same tier as Mighty Bash and Mass Entanglement. By the way, Mighty Bash, again, did get nerfed by one second stun duration, which I think is maybe okay um, <laughs> as a Shaman uh, main. Uh, Heart of the Wild, so this ability will empower... And uh, this talent will empower abilities associated with other affinities. So if I go balance affinity and I, I, I select this one, it says damage of your balance abilities increased by 30% when I use it. It's a five minute cooldown and it lasts for 45 seconds, but still, that's a lot. Um, I mean, that's 30%. I don't know if that's going to be really that viable. We'll have to see. Um, Guardian affinity, if I go to, into Guardian affinity, I look at Heart of the Wild. It says bear form now gives an additional 20% stamina and uh, multiple uses of iron fur may overlap, meaning you can stack that armor up. And frenzy regeneration has two charges. That's pretty good. <clears throat> that means I... Um, 
that means that by default you only have one. The other thing that this uh, that did change is Bergerud, if you go into Guardian Infinity, got Incapacitating Roar. Incapacitating Roar is an AoE fear, or sorry, AoE disorient, sorry, for three seconds. Usually Guardian only had this. Now it's being brought into Guardian Affinity for all the different specs to be able to choose that. So that's pretty cool. So this is a much more defensive, obviously, combo. Uh, the passive here is still 6% damage uh, you know, reduction, which is fine. Resto Affinity. Resto Affinity did get changed to give you Ursal's Vortex, which is pretty cool. Uh, there can be some plays that can be made with this, and maybe even for Mythic Plus, it might be a nice thing uh, to group mobs up. So that's cool. Now, Heart of the Wild for restoration. Healing of your restoration uh, spells increased by 30%, mana re cost reduced by 50%. Now, we don't know how effective the Feral Druid heals are yet. That still has to, I still need to test that, but it's good to know that I could get a huge increase in my healing capability, and then I can use a Swift mana. Maybe that will really help my teammate if it's PvE, right? <coughs> so that's that. Now, <coughs> the PvP talents haven't really changed at all, so we want to talk about that. This tier has not been modified. This tier has not been modified. Wild Charge is just a really cool ability. Um, Soul of the Forest, your finishing moves uh, grant five, five energy per combo point and increase five damage. All this is the same. Savage Roar, same. Incarnation is exactly the same. Boomkin's got changed, by the way, to not increase damage, but this one has stayed to the T. Uh, Scent of Blood is Thrash. Brutal Slash, all the same. Primal Rent, all this is the same, um, except for this. This is the big change for Feral that people are say, have been saying to me, yo, they got screwed. It's actually a real, it, I'm actually really curious why they made this change. I'll put the BFA one on the screen and, I'll, and we'll go through this. When you use Shred, Rake, and Ferocious Bite within three seconds, that is the three globals in a row instantly, uh, I guess back to back to back, the damage of your next rip is increased by 50%. So if you don't recall, rip is the uh, 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 damage over time ability. So they're saying I need to rake, shred, ferocious bite, and then I'll just reorder it. So I need to rake, shred, ferocious bite, and then rip. How is that even possible? I actually need to start with ferocious. I'm like looking, I'm thinking about it. Rip is a combo point based ability. So how the heck does that even make sense? When you use shred, rake, and ferocious bite, ferocious bite suspender. So maybe I need to use the spender. I need to get five combo points. I need to spend the ferocious bite. Then I need to rake, shred. So I have two combo points and then I rip. That's kind of interesting. We'll have to mess around with that a little bit. We'll kill some mobs right now, but this is a big change. And people are saying that this is kind of like a, kind of a weird, weird change for them to make you know it is what it is but that's the only really talent that's been modified for feral so guys i want to know what you think in the comments of these changes for skills and talents it is not that overwhelming to me um heart of the wild does seem cool but like i just i don't know if it's significant enough but maybe feral doesn't need a change let me know what you think down in the comments now let's try this blood let's try this uh let's try this right now i'll just pick something it's fine because uh, we can't even turn our war mode in uh in the alpha right now. All right, so let's go ahead. Let's just start doing damage. We're just gonna start generating combo points. Two combo point, that's about where it was before, I think. All right, now we rip. And it's still hitting for one, one, one. Oh, there's Blood Talons, actually. Okay, so it actually does give me a buff. So the buff happens, so my next rip. Okay, okay, there we go. I did what didn't actually work before, so now it hat does. We'll go ahead and see. Rip. Uh, does it actually say on the tooltip? No, but Rip is doing 166. So it's doing 166 instead of 111. Okay. I don't know. It doesn't seem quite... Uh, your next trip. Uh, okay. So that's... It's kind of cool. But I don't know. Your next one. Yeah. Kind of interesting. We'll have to see how the flow of the rotation goes. I'll be testing this out on the stream too. Because, like, for example... The, a lot of abilities didn't change for other classes, but it just feels different. They might have done a little bit of tweaking of the numbers, retweaking. So we'll have to see, but that's kind of interesting. I mean, it 50% just doesn't seem that much, and the number squish makes it seem even less significant. But mm, kind of interesting. We'll, we'll have to see how it works out, guys. I want to know what you guys think in the comments. We'll be playing Druid on stream, um, as well as my main shaman, trying things out, fooling around. So if you have questions, feel free to come by. But that's about it for Feral. A little bit less than some of the other classes, but maybe it's enough. I don't know, guys. Let me know down in the comments, and let me know what else you would like me to make videos about, and I will do that. Guys, we'll see you later. Thanks for the love. Goodbye.